Mark Rutsu duplicates incredible speedrun, atoning for his previous failure. A new strategy on control leads to two of GoldenEye's oldest untied world records being in danger. Perfect Ace perfects facility. It's time for Speed News! Today's lead story, Mark Rutsu, after two years of playing the same level in GoldenEye, Silo Agent, finally achieved the untied world record of his dreams, Silo Agent 59 seconds. However, in a previous video I described how he failed to record this speedrun, a stunning act of bad luck, or perhaps negligence, or a bit of both. And the notion that he'd have to repeat achieving a world record, one that took him between 450 and 500 hours, seemed like a truly daunting, if not impossible, task. But Mark is one who laughs at the impossible. And on July the 1st, he indeed repeated the impossible, revealing to the world that he had duplicated the Silo 59. Mark revealed this on a stream with fellow GoldenEye speedrunner Tim Tams, whom he had been hanging out with over the weekend. Mark actually performed the record off stream with Tim, and they decided the best way to reveal the record publicly would be to begin streaming, show the entire gameplay session, and then act as if he got it live by getting really excited when the 59 run came up. Which was a pretty good call, as it resulted in this epic reaction. Wait, wait. I think that's the I same. Think, I think I, that's the lower one. I think that's one oh one oh point zero zero. But who knows? <laughs> The run is just madness. We're at the point where many of these runs don't have any new strategy developments, it just comes down to absolutely perfect execution at every moment. The way he squeezes through guards and tight gaps, avoids getting stuck at any cost. The run is a symphony of GoldenEye perfection. Mark has quite a storied journey through speedrunning since he first started 10 years ago, with many ups and downs and epic gamer moments. But to be honest, getting Silo 59 twice the way he did it, finally delivering on his two-year quest, it feels like he's redeemed his entire life with this one speedrun record. Mark has stated that after nearly two years of playing the same level and finally getting this epic record twice, he's done with GoldenEye for good. However, some doubt this, given that he could play Silo Double O Agent, attempt to beat the record there of 121, and complete a rare, coveted, untied sweep, something not seen in the game since Clemens swept Aztec in 2015. Now this is far from an easy task, and perhaps Mark fears another 500 hour grind to cut off only a couple seconds on one stage, but it is safe to say that most don't believe Mark being permanently retired from GoldenEye speedrunning. That being said, if it is true, duplicating Silo 59, something many are already calling the best world record ever set in the game, sure is a great way to go out. So whatever the case may be, a huge congratulations to Mark Rutsu for redeeming what feels like his entire life with this speedrun. In other truly remarkable news, we've seen a flurry of action on GoldenEye's control stage. Going into July, Ace's Control Secret Agent 403 and Double O Agent 404 were two of the game's oldest standing untied world records. And not only that, but seen as some of the least likely to be tied, as they were both untied records by at least two seconds. Well, for whatever reason, GoldenEye speedrun legend Clemens decided to make Control his next quest, and pretty quickly improved his own records to within one second of Ace's amazing times. That's where GoldenEye speedrunning's own Nikola Tesla Ted came along and refined new strategies that would shape the course of the next few weeks. You see, one of the objectives on this stage is to simply protect Natalia as she hacks the GoldenEye satellite, preventing it from destroying the Earth or whatever it may be. 
This objective B takes about 2 minutes and 15 seconds from when she approaches the hacking computer. And once it's complete, Natalia has to run back to the lift where you started the mission to despawn, completing objective A. Now the fastest she can naturally do this part is somewhere between 17 and 18 seconds after the last of these three messages which display upon objective B completion disappears. Though sometimes it takes her longer if she bumps into a guard or decides to randomly spin around or something like that. But we don't wait around to watch her despawn and then run to the end ourselves. Of course, we go to our ending and jump in there at the earliest possible time she could have arrived back at her despawn zone, and we just hope Objective A completes while our game is fading out. The ending cutscene playing means you've been successful. Alright, so a few years ago it was discovered that if you boop Natalia during her hacking sequence, her recovery animation involves her backing up which, when done repeatedly, can bring her position much closer to the stairs where she escapes, getting her about a full second closer to her ending, thus saving about a second. Yeah, it looks silly that she's still hacking her computer while standing like 20 feet away from it, but hey, that's speedrunning for you. This is the sort of strategy that was used by Perfect Ace to take the records down to 403 and 404, where they stood for nearly three years and they became a couple of the game's oldest standing untied world records. But Ted discovered there's an even better way to do it. You see, Ted realized exactly what happens as Natalia approaches her hacking computer there. The moment she enters this small blue circle, the timer begins and lasts about 2 minutes 15 seconds until she completes the objective B. Now, Natalia hasn't quite turned square to the computer until about a step or two into this blue circle. So if you boop her in the foot as she's rotating her turn towards squaring up to this console, she'll recover at a slightly different angle. If you boop her more times at this angle, she'll keep backing up each time she recovers, resulting in her end position being even closer to the stairs, and hence shortening her escape time. You can see just how much closer she is here than on Ace's previous records. Now this isn't a huge time saver, only about another half or one second, but it is something. And on the strength of this something, Clemens grinded hard for about a month. Slowly but surely, he became the first person to get within one second of Ace's records. Then he managed to tie 403 on Secret Agent. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Then he managed to tie 404 on Double O Agent with perhaps the most clutch ending I've ever seen of any GoldenEye speedrun. Clemens had less than one bar of health entering the Protect sequence, which means he couldn't take a single shot of damage. That in itself is a challenge, but at the ending of the mission you enter this large room where Trevelyan is waiting in a lift, and he shoots you with 100% accuracy every time. Clem had no choice but to turn and fire at the lift, causing Trevelyan to shut the lift instead of shooting at you, while also avoiding shots from half a dozen or so other guards in the room. He somehow got to the ending lift, Natalia completed a truly remarkable speedrun. And Clem wasn't done there. He'd go back to Secret Agent for a chance at the Untied. But before he'd get to this, GoldenEye champion Luke Sklarz would take a page out of Mark Rutsu's book, claiming that he also tied the 403 Secret Agent record. But his Amarec local recording program failed on him, resulting in no video evidence of the run. Regardless, Clemens would play on, and after one of his most incredible control starts ever, he finished the speedrun and got this time. Yes! Oh my god. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! Boom! Truly remarkable things done to control over the past month. 
With two of the game's oldest untied world records getting matched or beaten, incredibly now only two untied world records still stand from 2016. Cavern's Double O Agent 130 and Street's Double O Agent 154. So who, my friends, will be the first to tie or beat these? There's also some 1080 snowboarding news. Russell Clapham, a very old school 1080 player from the Nintendo High Score era, has returned to the game after a decade away, and has offered a $500 bounty on the next person to improve the current Dragon Cave Time Attack world record. That record currently held by Burt86 with a time of 123.58. Another runner, Hayati, only a week ago got a second place time of 123.62, so this bounty could be anyone's taking. And lastly, but certainly not least, Perfect Ace never just goes quietly into the night. He has been on a several month quest to untie Facility Agent. 43 seconds was the world record he set there in late 2012, and has seen about 10 players tie it in the meantime. The one sort of new tech here is using a mine to give you a double boost right as you start in the famous facility vents. But since you're crouched and not going full speed, it's not a huge time saver, only a tenth or two of a second. Beyond that, there's not much analysis or strategy development to talk about here. It's just Ace consciously pushing every frame out of the level, with perfect door warps, mine boosts, and absolute beyond perfect execution of everything. The run is so perfect in fact that he completed objective B in the final frame of the mission fading out, which results in the mission screen saying completed, but the best time not saving into your game cartridge. It's hard to know if waiting one extra frame to end the mission, just so the best time would save, would have caused this to be a 43, but it's quite possible this is true. In any case, a truly remarkable speedrun by Perfect Ace, and I mean it, all these speedruns are truly, truly remarkable. With many GoldenEye speedrunners calling them three of the best ever world record set, all within a span of one or two weeks. And in our bonus news, this speedrunner, Nightmare, got a third place time in the SpongeBob's Truth or Square level Santa, Santa, Santa. Way to go, Nightmare. Keep up the good work. So there's your speed news update for this mid-July. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to speed run over to that like button so I know you all want to see more speed news updates. As always, thanks for watching, stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.